Luke, Eric, Lady A, Miranda, Jason, Dirks. What are they all up to? It's the Nashville Nibble, your country music inside news source. Here's Ryan Keith with your top five news stories. And uh, here we go. Number five, Shania Twain and Nick Jonas released a new duet called Say All You Want for Christmas. It's on the EP called This Is Christmas, which features songs from Elton John, Fall Out Boy, and The Vamps. It's a really good song. You should check it out. You can go to YouTube and search Nick Jonas, Shania Twain, Say All You Want for Christmas. Number four, in honor of Veterans Day, live at the Grand Ole Opry, posted a video of Trace Atkins performing Still a Soldier. It's from his show there last month. You can check that out on YouTube. Just search live at the Grand Ole Opry, Trace Atkins, Still a Soldier. Number three, Luke Bryan is really, really proud of a newly released version of a holiday classic. I'm always excited to allow my fans to hear different aspects of who I am as an artist. This is our second Christmas song in... We did Run Run Rudolph, which is totally what people would expect from me, but Oh Holy Night is something that I'm really, really proud of and I'm ready for people to hear this type of music from me, certainly during Christmas time. Number two, Carrie Underwood fell and broke her wrist on Friday. Wow. Carrie Underwood took a hard fall off the steps outside of her house on Friday. She suffered multiple injuries, including a broken wrist. Jeez. She was also treated for cuts and abrasions at the hospital. How far is her house off the ground? Jeez, her husband Mike Fisher rushed back to Nashville to help her. I mean, look, I know it's Carrie Underwood, and you want to keep that as long as you can, but Mike, you're a hockey player. It's just a broken wrist, man. Her rep said her recovery will take some time, and that Carrie appreciates all the prayers and the good wishes. I mean, look, Dave Grawl from the band The Foo Fighters broke his leg at the beginning of a set. He sat in a chair for the remainder of the set, which like it was an hour set with an air cast. Take a salt tablet, Carrie. All right. And the number one story coming out of Nashville. Garth Brooks is getting grief. Miranda Lambert's boyfriend for lip syncing at the CMAs. Before I start this, I would like to preface by saying as soon as you sell as many records as Garth Brooks and you go on a non-stop world tour like Garth Brooks and you get sick before an award show then you come talk to me, Anderson East. So it sounds like Anderson East thinks no star is too big to fake it, even if you have a pretty good excuse. He hit up Instagram last week to call out Garth Brooks for lip syncing at the CMAs, and here's what he wrote. I keep a lot of my opinions to myself and respect anyone making music, but as a person who tries to put on the best and most honest show I can every night, this truly offends me. You've got to be kidding me. I was told country music is three chords and the truth. You know what the truth is, Anderson East? Sounds to me like when you jumped on the Miranda Lambert train when that was a hot subject and now you're starting to lose your shine a little bit. Maybe you're out of the news because everything's kind of settling down. You want to jump on another train to get your name back in there, buddy. Sounds like you're an attention you-know-what. And I can't, I don't want to say that because this is a family show. Moving along, and if you were wondering what Miranda's ex thought about the whole situation, Blake Shelton came to Garth's defense and tweeted, Hey, Garth Brooks, I still love you. Hashtag hero. Hashtag respect. And that is the top five stories coming out of City Lights. This is the Nashville Nibble on Gator 99.5.